is you hiring me when you the bone? I should be hiring you. Like, what, what did you get? You should be happy to say you got a bad bitch like me. Do what she's about to do, and she's about to show what the girls should have did. Give me some. He really thought it was Sharique texting him, but it was me texting him the whole time because it was like I just wanted her. I wanted him to like have a relationship because he was like so miserable. Ain't nobody like him. I just wanted him to like have a relationship and be happy like with somebody. Like just find him somebody. Suddenly, at least somebody want him or something. But like, yeah, she had no interest in him. She was texting him back, so I really felt sorry for him. So I was like, I'll just text with that on your page. So yeah, me as me, I was texting back. I would text him bomb.com back on Sheree page. So like I would just text for him. I would text him for her saying me, saying all kinds of stuff. Ooh, so one day I end up catching feelings for bomb.com. 
this what it come in it. I ain't no catching feelings for bomb.com because it was like the way he texts and stuff, it was like so like he just him as a person like his personality or whatever, it was so like appealing to me. Like it was so like sweet and nice to me. It was like the way he supposed to treat a girl. And like, yeah, I, I started catching feelings with him and I was like, it ain't gonna really be nasty because it's like I was texting this relationship the whole time for her, even though people really think that him and Cherie was going together. It really was me texting. Like Cherie never even texted somebody. Cherie ain't never even have interest in him, but it was me texting him the whole time. Like during that relationship, it really was me texting. Or whatever. So one day I was I was we was in the library because I had second period with him or whatever. And I was telling him like I was like I like you, and I and I was just like a fool, cause like who the fuck? I was just a real fool for um even saying that. But it was like his personality, the way he texts, the way he treat a girl. It was like so. It was just everything for me, and that's what I go for. I really don't go for the looks, but it was like he's a bomb. Like girl, you should just stay in your lane and just live that alone. But anyways, yeah, and I was like telling him I like him and stuff or whatever like that. He told me a joke. He thought I was playing. He was like, no, I go with your cousin Cherie. I'm like, baby, it's me texting. Like, I really want to tell him that, but like, I ended up telling him. Oh, whatever. So we were just walking down the hall or whatever. And I ended up telling him, I was like, well, it be me texting the whole time. You think it's text Cherie, but it's really be me. And he was like, oh, God. You know, he was just shocked or whatever about the situation. Or whatever. He was just shocked. And he was like, you know whatever this whatever it is and keep in mind he was a bomb like girl we made him like we made him like boy don't play with me but anyways yeah so as i told him or whatever he was like oh for real so me him and sheree got together and we had to talk about the whole situation we told it how it was who it was really ticked him and who really like started finding interest in him which was me so um after that um like me and him got together and people were shocked by it because People thought he was going with Cherie, but he was, but she really didn't even like him. And then, like, I was texting her the whole time. Like, she she wants she to stun his ass, to be real. And I shouldn't have been stunning him because he's a bomb. But anyways, on with the story. Me and him going together. We public. We this. We did. We happy or whatever. You know, he, he acting right. So, we go to school. We see each other and all that. You know, just be together whatever. And, like, so... And like so I started like giving him I started like you know he he was a bomb like I said he really ain't have nothing he really like you know he just was a bomb he used to like wear the same old clothes to school dirty shoes and all that he just really was like a real life bomb and I should have stayed with the fuck I would like when he came to school and stuff I just felt so bad for him so like I, I gave him money and stuff and when he used to text me and be like he needs money for this or he needs money for that I used to just like give him all kind of money like when he got to his little basketball games or whatever I gave him money like I just did so much stuff for him like I loved him but like at the same time I wanted to help him like I ain't re I really don't ever want to see nobody like just you know in that type of situation where they really ain't got anything or whatever so I'm gonna just help him I gave him money for stuff like I just treated him so I was going to him like everything so um yeah after that um so after that yeah time was going but I feel like he started getting too used to me you know how when a boy gets too used to you he feel like too he get too too uh what's the word what's the word he gets too you know used to you he gets too comfortable yeah he gets too comfortable with you so i feel like he started getting too comfortable and he feel like he could just you know like take me for granted and run over me and stuff just because like i was so nice to him like who the fuck takes workers for granted they're so nice to you i feel like he just started taking me for granted over them so okay this one the count making part come up count making year came up over them this is like a count we go to count for a whole week or whatever we just go to count maybe a whole bunch of people there from like everywhere if you want to go but you just gotta be like in our location area or whatever so we yeah, we used to just get on the bus go to camp or whatever and then like stop okay wait a minute this before camp two i'm sorry i'm all over the place this was before camp two like when while we were still going together he was taking me for granted so it's like in the beginning of our relationship every night we used to like get on the phone go to sleep on the phone talk on the phone and stuff all night but then he started changing. He started like not want to call me at night, not sex in bed, out with home or not it. Like he just really just took me for granted. Like he took me for a joke. Like he didn't really give a fuck about me. Like he you he used me for my money. And then like he he just started like acting different. I don't even know what he was doing with the money. He probably was lying to me, but I don't even know. 
But, um, yeah, I guess because he thought that or whatever, he thought he was just the shit. Like, he just started, like, not texting back, acting hard, acting nonchalant about stuff. And in the beginning, he was, like, a real person that really just cared about your feelings and stuff. Like, he was so caring. But he started acting nonchalant, this and that, acting like he don't care, doing all this and everything else in the book or whatever. So, I'm like... I still took it. Like, I just, anything he did, I just took it. Anything he did to me, I just, like, I, I, I just thought it was, like, I don't know. I just took it. I just took it. Any like any any wrong thing he did, I took it. And I was like, okay, it's just a mistake. I'm gonna forgive him. I like I kept forgiving him over there. You know, just on some other stuff like that. Now the camp makeup, I swear this is the camp makeup. The camp makeup come up. We're going to camp over there, like I told y'all, we go for a week over there. So we just get on the bus and we go to this little camp and we do all kind of um activities over there. But so we was at camp and stuff, and it'd be like all kind of people there. So it was girls there and stuff, and he he acted like he didn't even know me, like. He acted like he didn't want to be like and when we get from camp he'll talk to me he'll text me and do all that but when we like around when we was at camp around me and stuff he acted like he ain't know me he wanted to act hard he wanted to be cool with his tomboys he wanted to talk to other girls in my face he wanted to be so hard like you not hard i made it what, how is you trying to be so hard and act like you this and you that you not nothing like look at you anyways but yeah he acted like he ain't even know me he acted like he ain't had a girlfriend he acted like he was single he acted like he was all this so um, yeah, me and him rode two different buses because, like, from, like, the spot he was going to camp from, I was going to, I was going to, the spot he was going to camp, I was going at a different spot. Like, I was riding a different, well, basically, we was riding different buses there. So, you know. So, one day, um, after camp or whatever, we get on the bus or whatever, and I saw I got a text message, um, from this girl. I'm gonna call this girl Bree. So, I got a text message from this girl named Bree. It's not really her name, I'm just saying so. But I got a text message from this girl named Bree, and she was like, I right, just, and I was like, huh, with the question mark. Like, when I get messages from somebody at the blue that I know don't normally text me, I know it's either something about my nigga or it's something they want they had to eat. Like, this, that's either or. I just know this. And so I was like, huh? And she was like, do you and bone.com still go together? I was like, yeah, what did? And she was like, he tried to talk to me. And I was like, wait. And then him and um Bree, they rode the same bus to camp together. So I'm like, okay, he, he probably did try to talk to her. Like, so I was like, okay. um, And I think she sent me a screenshot of when he texted her and said, hey, or something like that. He texted her and said something. But yeah, I was like, okay, bet. So I, I stayed a screenshot that she sent me. I was like, okay, bet. Thanks for telling me. Because she was like, I didn't know her. I didn't really mess with her like that because she was like in a little grade and she was like in like the eighth grade. I'm like, you mess, you trying to mess with an eighth grader? That's lame. Like, I can tell you a bomb already. Like, I, can, I, I just knew he was a bomb. And the fact that I still even gave him a chance, like, you should be thanking me. But anyways, yeah. I was like, thank you, because I ain't know her like that, but I just knew, she knew me, because I do hair and stuff, so she knew me, and she knew, like, you know, me and him was going there, because we were public or whatever, so she just went ahead on and told me, so, yeah, and I say the screenshot that she sent me, and I sent it to him, I was like, so what he did, you trying to fuck with little girl, like, you so lame, you so childish, I would call him everything, everything in the book, he, I was calling him, or whatever, because, like, you just really didn't put me through so much, like, not so much, but, you know, enough to just piss you off, first of all, you acting like you don't know me in, per in public, second, like, you really used me, because, like, when I, when I used to give you money and stuff, like, you, and then he really wasn't even appreciative, like, I really just was looking out for him, but that's something I shouldn't do, that, that's what I get for being too damn nice, that's exactly what I get, that's why I said, and I was like, yo, you this, you that, you that, why did you tell her you lame, the girls like in eighth grade, and we like in, what grade we, I don't know, what grade was I in? I was in ninth grade. We like in ninth grade. Like, what is you doing? Like, you lame. And then, like, ninth grade and eighth grade don't even go to the same school. So, how would you, why did you try to talk to me look good? Like, <sighs> next. So, um, after that, he was like, man, that ain't me. That ain't me. That ain't me. I swear, I don't really want her. All I want is you. You did. You did. You did. I love you. Something like that. So, me and broke up for like two days. And I, you know, I blocked him over there with him. And he got out here on board to just text me to my son. He wanted to put it back on or whatever. Or this and that and that. And we stopped talking. We stopped texting for like two days. So I had unblocked him. I don't know why, but I just had unblocked him. So he had ended up sending me a paragraph saying, I love you. I'm sorry for this. It ain't going to never happen no more. And me being me, being dumb, I went back to him. Like, I went back to him. I don't know why. Like, they just, I believe in taking chances, but it's like, I should've never did that, but anyway, yeah. 
if so I gave him a second chance or whatever, we back together, we back good. But still, they kept making, like, he'll talk to me, but when ain't nobody around. So, I'm like, why, how is you behind me when you the bone? I should be behind you. Like, what, what did you get? You should be happy to say you got a bad bitch like me. You should be happy to say that. Like, I'm supposed to be behind you. You're the bomb. So, I don't get it. Like, the fact that he just wanted, he just thought he was going to get some hoes that can't make it. But, baby, any anybody you tried to fuck with there... Was gonna most was gonna most definitely tell me he he, he really ain't want to be staying with me because he thought he was gonna go to camp making and get somebody but you won't go fuck with nobody because they're gonna tell me because I'm a bad bitch and they ain't gonna fuck with nobody that I fuck with so like you 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 lose either way so I mean so camp making end up being over or whatever and we you know we back to normal we back just regular you know summer stuff I guess so um. Like, me and him had each other passwords and message over there. We just had just passwords to Facebook over there. So, um, I don't really go on his page, but he be on my page, like, all the time. Like, posting stuff on my day and stuff. Like, letting everybody know that I'm in a relationship. But when it's time for me to post my stuff on your day, you don't even want to do it. Like, and Warren, you in the beginning, he was like a person that show you off and do all that. Can't stop posting. You can't stop tagging you and stuff. Like, but now he was, now, like, at this point, now he was like, mm don't want about do this and I was a person like I really did log in his page because I really I like, care what he was doing I care but he was like I trusted him I guess but I really ain't log his page because I really ain't gonna see what he was doing I really ain't seen none of that or whatever but yeah so um he ended up so yeah um one day I just decided like I don't know what made me decide but I just decided like okay I'm just gonna go I just decided I'm just gonna go like log in his page or whatever so I went and I went to log in his page or whatever and I see him texting this girl and I'm like he sees her saying A or stuff like that. I'm like, the fuck? So I screenshot it and I go send it to him. And he gonna say, um he gonna say, um, oh I'm trying to put my hump on. So let me tell you what happened. When I logged in his page, he texted this girl, right? So, um he texted her and he like I saw the message before he can get before he can delete it. So he uh texts her then like he deleted it real fast. I'm like, I already saw it. And I'm like, okay, so this is what he been doing this whole time. He been texting people and deleting off his messenger and he get they number and he tests them on his regular phone or whatever. So I'm like, okay, I see what you're doing. And so he was like, I was like, so I was like, so who that girl he says he was like, oh I'm putting on my home boy, I'm this, I'm dead. And I believe, I was like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm, I don't even want to talk about the situation. Okay, you did, you put them on your home, or you did, you did. Okay, I'm done with you. Okay, you good, you good. And we were still together. So, one night, me and him had Life 360. If y'all don't know what Life 360 is, Life 360 is an app where you can tell, like, where they get. Like, you can tell, like, when they need a house or whatever. You can tell when they do this or do this. It's called Life 360. So, yeah. Like, I'm guessing he forgot we had Life 360, but... Life 3 sister telling me he's at this girl house name Kaya. So Life 3 sister telling me he had this girl house name Kaya. Did the girl ain't named Kaya, I'm just saying Kaya. So Life 3 sister telling me he had this girl house name Kaya. And um he telling me that he's somewhere else. And I'm like, I'm literally seeing that you I, and then the girl stay like in my um you know you little she stayed in the area that I stayed in, so I know exactly who else to be. Like, when you on life season, when you zoom me, you can see the house. And I'm like, okay, I know who house this is. Like, what is you saying? And it was, I guess she, and then the girl, Kai, she had, like, all her friends over there or whatever. And I'm like, so he got to be over here with one of her friends over there. So, I'm texting his phone. He ain't texting back. He ain't, you know, replying or nothing like that. And so, I'm like, where you at? At first, he told me that. But when he was replying, he was like, um... I met, um, he, he was telling me that he's somewhere else with his home or something. Like, I'm literally seeing that you at this place. I know your phone and I, because I know you got your phone with you. So, like, wh where you getting it? And so, I'm like, nah, you just a liar and stuff like that. Because he was literally lying. Like, I see where you at, but you telling me you somewhere else. Are you dumb? Yeah. So, later on that night or whatever, he finally decided to test me back. And guess what he gonna say? I'm done. I'm. I want to break up. I need a break. Cause you too insecure. Insecure, baby. Look what all you done did. Like you cheated twice. And I don't tell who else you text on your phone. Like how am I insecure? Like please feel me. And then, like when I even even if I look at a boy, if I do some to a boy, like he was all his damn feelings. Like baby, don't like 
you did shit. Like, you just... He was like, you too insecure. I need a break. I want to break up, whatever. You too this. You too that. I want to break up. Like, you you just too insecure. I can't deal with you. And I'm like, the fuck? And I was like, okay. I'm just like, I didn't deal with this too much. I'm done. Like, I had to put up with you so many times. You cheated on me like so many times. And how many times I took you back? Bitch, you should be thanking me. You already is a bomb. He already, I'm telling y'all, like, when I say bomb, I mean bomb. He rolled dirty shoes to school. He wore the same old clothes to school. Like, he was just a, a bomb. So, yeah, we ended up breaking up. And that just was the end of the story. And, like, now... He be telling everybody to put him back on with me. He miss me. He want me. But when you have me, you ain't do right. I'm on to better things. Like, I have a boyfriend now. I'm happy. And this is how I'm going to be. But you know what? That's what you get. I'm happy because you, like, you did me so freaking wrong. Like, and you deserve to get treated like trash. You deserve to be treated like a dog. But anyways... That was like the end of this video. And let me let y'all know something. If he's a bone from the jump, don't even give him a chance. Because when you make him, once you make him, he's going to think he's better than you. But you can never be better than me. Like, never. But, yeah. That was the end of this video. I hope y'all like this story time or whatever. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what y'all want to see next on my channel. Boss up, boss up, stay on your game. And I'm out.